Welcome back everyone. The iPhone XR is one of those devices that is just so perfect in so many different ways. So let's go and take a look at it in the middle of 2021. Now a lot of things have changed with this specific device. It is not the same phone as to when it came out even just earlier this year. You can still pick it up, you know, which is still great in, you know, the brand new market for $4.99 from Apple. So I think that's a really cool thing. You can still pick up this phone fairly cheaply, but we did get the iOS 15 update, which is the biggest change this phone has gotten. Now I will hit on it. I want to talk about the body first. Obviously the still the 6.1 inch IPS panel on the front still looks great. I changed my wallpaper finally and it looks way better than it did before. Still have that notch, but it's not really that big of a deal because all the other iPhones still have notches too. So that really hasn't changed. Lightning port on the bottom, glass back, no frosted glass back, and that single camera setup on the back, which still looks extremely good. It still takes very good photos and even the front camera 1080p at 60. I have very little complaints about this phone in terms of a body standpoint. When it first came out I really did hate it because it was a cheaper version of the you know more expensive models and it had an IPS panel but since then it's grown on me and I think it's totally okay to be honest. Now software wise this is the biggest change for sure. Now this is one of those things that you know if you're getting an iPhone you want it because of the software updates. You like the longevity I'm sure and for the fact that this phone isn't a crazy expensive phone and for the capability that you're getting with the software it really is something crazy because even like five or four years down the line when this phone may be on its last leg on its last version of software the day the most expensive iPhone of that year gets you know an update is the same day that the iPhone XR will also get an update technically there's no waiting there's no like oh because the iphone 10r is older uh, it gets it's like in fifth place because the iphone 12 pro max gets that update then the 10s and then it's not like that this phone gets the same day updates as the 12 pro max which is so beautiful and here's the thing with the iphone 10r installation was perfectly fine i didn't have any too many issues but the thing is is that it's been a very stable phone on ios 15 and i think from all the phones that i've tested including the iphone 11 the iphone 10s 10s max and this has been i think the most stable phone in terms of iOS 15 that I've had. I've made a ton of videos on my second channel that have used this specific iPhone and I haven't really had too many issues and this is something that I always look forward to. When you buy a phone, you don't want there to be a crazy amount of issues when you first get it and that is not the case with the iPhone XR. You were getting a very good stable phone with it. I love the features that iOS 15 brought even though it didn't bring too many features in the first place but I'm more so glad that it's a stable version of software on this phone. I still wouldn't recommend it installing iOS 15 on a beta form just yet in your iPhone wait until the official version comes out but I am really happy with the performance and with the stability so far so best believe when it officially comes out I think it's going to be in a very good point the performance has been about the same as well I haven't had too many issues with the performance segment and again that's a pretty big thing when you have a phone like this you don't want it to be completely unstable you don't want it to be able to not handle everything you throw at it and especially going from one version of software to the other there can be a lot of issues luckily for you I don't think there's going to be that many issues when you install this update on your iPhone XR. So at the end of the day, I love this phone. I like it. I mean, it's definitely one of my favorite phones of all time, and it's still worth it in the middle of 2021. I think it's a very good device, and it has a lot of character to it. Again, it's not perfect, but really, there's not that many phones that are perfect. So I think when it comes down to it, this is a solid phone, and I would highly recommend you guys to pick it up in 2021. If you want to, links are down in the description. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I'll tell every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.